we're going to try to make electric energy out of chemical energy and light an LED without using an electric outlet. Theoretically, it should work because this is the same concept used in batteries. But this is my first time trying it and like, let's see what happens. So for this experiment, we need four lemons. Um, uh, four, this is alligator clip or alligator wire. But like, they're just these things, which you can buy at the store. Called an alligator clip, cause you know, kinda looks like a, the, the mouth of an alligator. And four nails and four pennies. So, and a knife. So first, we're gonna cut a penny-sized slit in the lemon, in each of the lemons, cause we're actually gonna be putting the pennies there. So we're just going to put the penny halfway through. Okay. I am making a small slit to the next lemon and insert the penny. You need to do the same step for the remaining lemons. step is to push a zinc galvanized nail into each of the lemons and a half to one inch apart from the penny like over here and also don't let the nail and penny touch in or out of the lemon because otherwise there'll be a short circuit and yeah that'll be bad and and after that repeat the same step for the remaining lemons we're gonna use alligator clips to connect the lemons so first let's see how we can connect two lemons here connect one end of the alligator clip to the nail of the to the nail of the first lemon and connect the other end to the penny of the second lemon so connect all four lemons together with alligator clips each set of alligator clips should connect to a nail and to a penny now you have two unused clips on two separate alligator clips now you know what to do we're going to connect them to the LED and see what happens. That's weird. It's not working. Okay. So now, like, I have to figure out why it's not working. I mean, like, it seems like it did everything correctly. Troubleshooting step number one. An LED is polar sensitive, so that means will only work if the current is flowing in the right direction. So if you actually hook it up the wrong way, then it won't work. So like if um if your LED doesn't light like mine, you have to you have to check if you like did it properly. So what I mean is like you as you can see the LED has two wires. One is positive and one is negative. So the positive one is the longer one and the negative one is the shorter one. So, um, and the galvanized nail is negative and the penny is positive also. So we have to connect negative to negative, positive to positive. So since the short one and the galvanized nail are both negative, we, we connect the short one like this and we connect the long one like this and see if it's still not working. Make sure also that the positive and negative wires are not touching. But if Troubleshooting step number two. This LED needs at least 3.5 volts of electricity to light. Another reason is I don't have enough volts. So if you have a voltometer, you can check the number of volts you have. But since I don't have a voltometer, I'm, I'm going to add another lemon. A voltometer is an instrument used to measure volts. There's a digital and analog voltometer. Here, the fifth lemon is ready. I've inserted a penny and a nail. Also connected an alligator clip. Now I'm connecting the fifth lemon to the circuit. One end of the white alligator clip is connected to the LED, connecting the other end to the penny to complete the circuit. It is difficult to see the LED lights as the lights are on. So I'm going to switch off the lights to make it dim in here. Okay, it's the big moment now. It all comes down to this. Will it light or not? 
Yeah, it lighted. It actually lighted. It lighted. Well, I mean, it lighted for a bit, I guess, but still lighted. So science is all about experimenting, as we learned today. So when I tried the first time, it didn't work. So I did some troubleshooting and tried the second time. The the, the second time, it still didn't work. So I did some more troubleshooting and tried the third time. And the third time, it finally worked. So yeah, science is all about experimenting. A lemon battery is made with a lemon and two metallic electrodes of different metals, such as a copper penny and a galvanized zinc coated nail. The citric acid of the lemon reacts with the zinc and loosens electrons. Copper pulls electrons more strongly than zinc, so loose electrons will move towards the copper when the electrodes are connected by wires. Moving electrons are called an electric current, which is what lights up the LED. Lemon batteries will last as long as the electrodes are present and the electrodes are intact. The battery won't work if the lemon dries out or an electrode dissolves. So I really like this experiment because there was a lot of times when I just had to go back and do the troubleshooting and like I could actually see what went wrong. And that was pretty interesting because so you don't only have to try this with the lemon. If you want, you can use other citric fruits, like, you know, just other citric fruit. fruit. And uh, if you like this experiment, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And bye.